So we got offered to do some private label body armor, and we are going to go through a bunch of different plates we have here, just talk about weights, things we look for in the military. I think it's changed in the, the size of people they accommodate for. It's like before it was so generalized, I feel like body armor companies now, like they make multi curve, like they make plates for females. Like they have to. I think we always chose armor too on kind of the environment. Like remember those chicken plates? We knew it sucked to get hit. You get hit, yeah. get hit by two to three AK rounds and that was it. Yeah, we're starting so to take like, uh, like discount danger for comfortability. Yeah, weight, um, functionality. Absolutely. And even for recce configurations, it was a little different. I mean, we were taking plates out if we were out in the mountains doing long range stuff, taking the side plates out. Some guys even roll with no plates sometimes um, in different situations if it dictated that. Four pounds. <clears throat> it's a special threat, so this one says it will stop up. Stop AK, 7.62 by 39, no green tip. Here's one that will stop green tip. It's five. Five and a half pounds. So five and a half pounds doesn't sound like a lot. Here's a, a lighter weight one that will still cover it. 4.6. Here is a level three special threat. So you're supposed to wear a nine mil um, backer with this. And it's not to stop the rounds from penetrating through the plate. We've got some industry experts that are going to talk about it today. It's really the deformation coming through the backside. So if you imagine that you zap this thing 762 and the round comes through, it doesn't penetrate, but it comes through two inches. And that thing is sitting on my sternum. That is going to suck. So we've got to be able to account for that. But if you look at how light it is, it's two and a half pounds. Like Saving four pounds right there. We'll, we'll you can give like guys that. different suits yeah. of armor, I guarantee you'll be putting that in oh, yeah. no matter what we're facing, sure. whether it's you know, 83 or whatever. But then if you look at the exact same thing with this company, this is a green tip plate. Is this what it used to be? 539 down to... 313. That's huge. I mean, that's a big difference. But it's really that multi curve now sure. that has something that contours your body. I feel like the old school ones, they always did that kind of number, which doesn't really become an issue until you lean forward and then you just expose so much more. So it's like something's going to move with your body a little bit more. Like something that stands out. It's completely flat and rigid. Yeah. I feel like, too, we always understood, like, I mean, these don't make you bulletproof, they only cover your vital organs. <laughs> So some people, I could wrap my entire self around in body armor and function, great, but um, managing the weight and functionality, it was just important for us to cover our vitals, and we knew what we were covering, and basically anything that was hit on the sides or however we could, we could usually take care of it, maybe, depending on the angle. But again, yeah. plate facing forward, protecting heart, lungs. And it's a calculated risk, like you got the PJs, you got the 18 deltas, like you've got you got everything stacked in your favor. But, but you know what you were risking. Exactly. But the thing I think people don't talk about enough is like if you hold that over your body and you were to get into a big gunfight and I shoot you, the chances of me only hitting that plate are slim to none. Yeah. Like, and the chances you're squared up to me just like that are slim to none yes. if you're not aware of it. Like, like if I shoot that and I miss at that downward angle, I mean, you talk to the drama surgeons, yeah. like you can, you can inflict that wound on the operating table 20% chance of it. When you've been hit lower here, I mean, how many people do we know have been hit low and all over done? Yeah. I mean, like, like that, spinning over and me shooting him through the side, you're not coming back. Your entire insides are super. Mm -hmm. So it's like the grip, the stance, like presenting plates. Like, we had an interesting conversation the other day. Like, if right now, if I put a 22 pistol from six feet and I was going to shoot you in that plate, but you had to hold it, how would you present it? <laughs> as flat as possible? Exactly. You get your fingers out of the way. You, like, you wouldn't. You wouldn't angle it. No. You wouldn't angle it like that. You wouldn't angle it like this. You want to present that entire thing. So that's why we talk about being the awareness of presenting plates and the importance of it. Mm -hmm. Because if I do this and I expose my rib and I take one, I got side plates that big. It's nothing. Yeah. But how many people do we know have been hitting radios and side much. plates that have saved their lives? I've, I've seen time. two yeah. people hit this way. What DJ was talking about, we're like, oh, it's not that. Big. I've seen two people get hit in this angle. Right. Right. Your collarbone. Yeah, dude. Trapped in. Um, it's over. It's almost like a difference in mindset between if you're inside doing CTB and you're you're, you're trying to balance the, the difference between presenting your plates um, intentionally or outside taking cover. You know what I mean? The less weight you carry, the faster you can move and the less taxing it is on your body. So I would rather carry a three pound plate 
than a six pound plate because I know I can move faster. I think I can avoid a lot of situations where I get there and I'm so fatigued because all this shit is so heavy. And finally get there and be like, I don't feel that bad. It's like a point of diminishing return. Like with Marines, it's, you know, you have to yeah. put every piece of body armor you can have plus the, you know, the junk cover. Um, it's like, good, they're protected, but you can't move. You're more likely to get shot in that scenario. Yeah. Like you're so tired once the actual engagement starts. It. I mean, I think, too, we're always chasing not only the weight, but the thinness. It's like these super thick plates. It's like now you stack on mags and different stuff, and it's sticking out further and further, and always trying to keep slim and functional. And oh, yeah. yeah and keep like, your you setup right. Just the different variations over the years of everything that's happened. Like, it's a lot. Like, you can just look at the curves. Like, everything is, like, everything's kind of, it's all different now. Just like all of these subtle little changes, that to that. Like, which one of those is going to hug your body more? It would be interesting to go out there and actually see what they do. Yeah. Like, get a no shit scientist. Like, mm -hmm. stand yeah. out there and be able to see through the plate. Like, we understand them from a, from a consumer, from an end user. I understand that for body armor, but I can't. I can't yeah. speak to the ballistic properties of this weave versus that weave. I just don't know it. All I know is if I can see what it does, what different rounds do to each plate, then it, it, will, it might change my consideration of what plates I fucking wear. Really? Yeah, like, and, and like, that's kind of all I, personally, selfishly, that's all I really want to show. I want people to be able to see it in real life. Like, if this shit blows through here, we're posting it. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to show it, so you better fucking hope it doesn't. <laughs> but to be able to show people on the backside, like, now just imagine you're a SWAT team guy in Ohio and you take a round like this and it blows through three inches. Like, just imagine what that's going to do to your sternum. Mm -hmm. It's going to crack you, man. It's going to suck. Yeah. It's like you've got to be prepared for that. But I think it'll be a good test, man. I think it'll be cool. I mean, we're going to shoot it with everything. 7.62 all the way through. So, I'm pumped, man.